Why is my camera such low quality? Do I need more light? It's a bit too much light. I look a little white. Still look quite bright, but I think the camera's higher quality now, right? See, this is the highest quality, but the camera's way too... I don't have enough light. Oh, I can turn the light on in my room. Hey, I have a light here, Ghost Boy. Welcome to my apartment. Uh, that did nothing. Hold on. I have a swivel light. Hey, that looks better. Except that the swivel light is directly on camera and creating a shine. Okay. How do I make it not? Maybe I use the other light. Huh? Nah, good enough. All right, let's do TikTok time, shall we? Now, I know YouTube is, or Twitch is not here to say hi to YouTube chat because I'm currently streaming offline. I was all excited about my new place and to show it off to Twitch chat. And then, uh, well, couldn't stream because I didn't have uh, good enough Wi-Fi. Unfortunate. So here we are. Anyways, let's do TikTok time. I'll say hi to YouTube. YouTube, you can still say hi to Twitch. They wish they were here. They'll probably have to come to the YouTube anyways. YouTube exclusive time. Why am I so white? Welcome to TikTok time. Completely offline. Chat messages? Frozen. Chat? Not here. The only people who can see this are YouTube. Let's, uh, let's look at some TikTok, shall we? First TikTok. <laughs> Um, are those a bunch of dead bluegill in a bathtub, or... Oh, and there's yellow perch in there, too. Cool, so... A bunch of dead yellow perch and bluegill in a bathtub. So somebody went bait fishing, caught a bunch of bait fish, and then put them in a bathtub. Cool. Sounds good, man. Great. I love the internet and the things that I look at on daily basis. Is that light the one that's too much that's making me white? I'll take the lower quality over being so goddamn white. Anyways, that's a ridiculous thing that I've just looked at because I've decided to make myself someone who looks at content. Guys, check out how big this bass is I just caught. What do you think of this, Kyle? It's pretty big, right? It's a good it size bass. Bigger, man. No, I couldn't have been bigger. Oh my god, yo, what the heck? Yo, okay, cool. Schlarva. <laughs> Sunfish. You won't believe what this turns into. Ocean sunfish. Yeah, it's a fucking baby sunfish. I'll show you another one. This one's pretty cute. Turns into this. That's what a red lip batfish looks like as a baby. That's pretty cool. Yeah, larval fish do tend to look absolutely nothing like the adult fish. It's kind of funny. They just take completely different forms. I remember when I was first learning how to identify larval fish locally. I was like, oh, okay, the caudal fin is perfectly rounded. You know, the tail fin is rounded. Therefore, it has to be one of the killifish. So it's probably a banded killifish or a western mosquito fish. And I was so proud of myself for narrowing it down based on a feature. And then I, like, looked at some larval guides, and it was like, no, actually, every single fish starts out with a flat caudal fin because it's better for propelling yourself at a very small size. So it's like, actually... You identified nothing, you have determined nothing, you still have no idea what this fish is. They start off completely different than they end up. Fish. Next. I actually don't know what this turns into, but it's some type of eel. It's a little Sick. eel. And last. This is a baby bony eared Lionfish? ass fish. So That's what a bony eared this. ass fish looks like as a baby? That's all for now. Cool. I don't know what the eel one is. Yeah, larval fish are a good thing. I should make a kahoot or something like that with larval fish. We haven't done cahoots in a while. I should make a cahoot where I look at uh, larval fish and you have to guess what it turns into. I would need some pretty good pictures, though. I have good shots of larval fish from New Jersey I could use, I guess. Hey, guys, I'm in the Florida Everglades and I'm facing... No, not fishing Garrett again. Please, fishing Garrett, please stop touching large, dangerous animals and venomous animals. This dude's entire existence is just grabbing alligators and crocodiles. Face with this 12-foot American crocodile. He's sleeping. Oh, not anymore. He sees me. Always got to help the little geckos cross the road. You're going to make a good swamp puppy. I'm still looking for that 20-foot Burmese python. <laughs> Why are you search seeking out a 20-foot Burmese python? What the heck is a cat doing out in the middle of the Everglades? I hope a python gets... Cats are in the Everglades, too? I'm surprised. I would think there'd be enough predators in the Everglades for cats to not be surviving there, but I guess invasive animals get to live anywhere they want because they just dominate ecosystems. Ooh, we got the targeted species, a Burmese python. <laughs> just 
petting a Burmese Wait. python. Oh, yep, sure, just fucking grab. This sucker's going home with me. He's invasive. Okay. Yoink. Bullfrog. Help this bullfrog out of the road. Check out those juicy webbers. <laughs> look at the size of this swamp puppy. This thing's a monster. I gotta get a closer look. Oh my god, those Florida streams. You can tell it's like Everglades Florida streams because you've got like the tannic water with the sandy bottom and the vegetation and everything. It's so nice not having to worry about crocodiles or alligators here because we have streams that look exactly like this and there's some cool fish in them. But how you possibly go micro fishing in Florida? Listen, it's a cheat code. There's a lot of fish there. You can get a ton of fish micro fishing, get a ton of species, uh, do amazing micro fishing there. The only problem is you have to worry about just death from all sides. Hey, handsome. Oh, he sees me. This big old green water snake gave me a very painful smooch. Ooh, yoink. Oh my god. Stop grabbing. Gorgeous... Why does he grab him from the tail? Can't they reach? I swear I've seen videos of you grab a snake from the tail and they can like reach up and bite you. They're supposed to like grab him right behind the head since they don't have the neck ability to like turn around and bite from there. Poor snake. Look how red he is. Love these guys. Ooh, yoink. A gentle yoink. It's a salt marsh snake. That's a cool snake. Um, this is a ridiculous thing that this is a human being that is going about life in this way. Wow, this is so bright. Look at this. Look at how white I am. I'm a ghost. This is the ghost of Avian J. I'm haunting you right now. If, if you, you don't, don't subscribe, I will haunt you. Let's look at an Instagram reel. Oh god, I'm gonna have to adjust the screen again, aren't I? Um... Is, um, I'm not even going to bother adjusting the screen because I'm, I'm sure you know what we're looking at here. I assume it's a Chinese algae eater sucking the top of the head of another fish. I know those sucker fish, they get a little devious sometimes. I, so I've heard, I've heard that uh, those sucker fish actually end up eating the mucus off of other fish or eating the scales off of other fish. So he may not be as, as honest as he seems. I just looked at this. Why did I click it again? The rock fishing? <laughs> There's so something so funny about the concept of like fishing rods not really being based on strength. Like I guess how hard you can yank in is based on strength. But other than that, it's kind of just like reeling and some skill. But it's funny that this like massive muscular dude is probably worse than some like teenager named Kevin who lives in Georgia and is just bass fishing every day. Well, what'd he catch? Excuse me, Mr. Rock, could you pick up the fish? Mr. Rock, how long are you gonna spend bent over the fish? Oh, there you go. Oh shit, he caught a wiper. What are the chances that the rock knows that this is a striped bass mixed with uh, white bass. What am I saying? Is that what it is? Striped bass, white bass? Striped bass? Yeah, striped bass, white bass, I think. Or what are the chances he calls this a largemouth? Take your bets. Does the rock know what a wiper is? Woo! This is a beautiful hybrid striper. Wow! here on Mana Farms. Interesting. So they just stock these in this. Uh, this looks like a closed lake ecosystem, so they're just stocking them to be fish, which takes a little bit of the coolness away because it's like, yeah, you're the rock and you pulled a fish out of the water, but you also pulled a fish out of the water that was put in the water to be pulled out of the water. It's like, man upstairs got you a little bit, but ah, well, one more. Hey, that's cool. Just a manta ray shitting itself. That's a that's a good way to end the video. <laughs> All right, bye YouTube. Hope the ghost of Avian J doesn't haunt you because you didn't subscribe. Wow.